from Masterfiend, who asks, okay, this is, again, pitching, a, pitching one of those ideas. Um, <laughs> so he says, have you ever wanted to kill the guy next to you for crashing you at the Rock Crabs or Motherload Mine? Well, now you can. With PvP Safe Worlds, the level limit to attack anyone would be removed, and you'd never need to, or sorry, you would need to defend your resources slash training spots. Matt, do you want to take us through an idea, idea you had kind of similar to this? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd like to kill Ronan all the time, uh, especially, oh, no, I'm joking, of course. Yeah. It does give good um, XP. It does give good XP, though, yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, I mean, I've mentioned this a few times, and uh, what we found end of last year when we put out uh, Nightmare Zone, not Nightmare Zone, Iron Man, um, it was really popular, and we want to do more game modes, and one of the things I would like to do would be a uh, hardcore PvP game mode, uh, where effectively you'll have a hardcore PvP world, uh, accounts will only be able to log into this world and get XP in this world, um, differently to... Um, to every other world, it will be PvP everywhere. So PvP in the banks, PvP in the cities, PvP, no safe zones whatsoever. However, in uh, the cities, you'll have lots of uh, lots of NPCs which are really high level. All the guards will be really high level, and if they see somebody with a skull, they will effectively just go and kill them. And when I say kill them, they will tele block them. They will uh, uh, freeze them in place, and they will just go and gank them. So you will assume if you go into this area with a skull, you will get killed. So that sort of creates this whole uh, dynamic of should I kill this person or not? Because if I do, I can't go into a city until my uh, my my skull has gone. With that, I kind of think of Grand Theft Auto. It's like, do I really want to commit this crime and then get chased by cops and lose everything? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I mean, that that's that's quite a nice mechanic in itself. But you know, this is not just any sort of PvP world. This is this is a hardcore PvP world. Um, and if you die, you should suffer properly. If you die, so if you die, um, you'll die. You'll respawn in Lumbridge. Your levels will all get set back to level one and um, you'll leave on the floor uh, a key. And that key gives access to the bank to your killer. So uh, if you get killed, your killer will take your bank, take all your items, and you'll get set back to level three, and you'll have to start all over again and work your way up to make it even more horrifically bad if you die. Um, <coughs> the whole idea behind it is, um, uh, is, is to get people who get levels really, really quickly, uh, get themselves up nice and high level, get a nice big bank going, and then lose the whole lot. Um, or just not die. Or just not die. You know, it's, it's, it's one of these things is can you level up your account without ever leaving a city? Um, it'll be much better if you do leave a city to do it, but then you've got the whole risk of uh, PvP. Would there be dying. Iron Men as well so they couldn't trade? Yeah, we could take Iron Men in it. I don't see why not. But, I'm just um, thinking, like, stream wise, this would be the most fun thing to it'd watch. It would be really intense. Absolutely yeah. horrific. I mean, imagine, you know, you're out there mining somewhere outside of a city. You're mining just south of uh, Varrock. You've got you got you got everything on you, and uh, obviously your bank loot get lost. Get, you lose your bank if you die. And the bloke walks past, and he's sitting there, he's looking at each other, and like, "All right, is it worth <laughs> sculling here?" Um, <laughs> it's the hungry. I'm going back this way. <laughs> you know, is this uh, awful awkwardness as you see other people? Are they going to attack me? Do they want to fight me? Do they want to steal my bank or not? Should I maybe attack them if they're lower level than me? You know, we get rid of all the level restrictions outside of cities as well. <coughs> so I'm seeing someone in the chat saying Daisy Escape. And I feel like it does take that kind of constant fear that you get from games like Rust and Daisy and put mm. plops into it, which I think is right. really nice. Do you have a model of Daisy in my test stream? <laughs> in, in general, <laughs> that doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> in general, the feedback uh, just from just pitching the idea, yeah. this is obviously just a, a rough idea, it's not all written down or anything, um, is tremendous. People definitely are for this, it seems so. Hopefully we can get something like that in yes. there sometime. But I mean, I quite like to do you know sort of a new game zone once a, a game mode once a year, yeah. just to sort of keep things fresh and give people sort of something different to think about or play in a different way if they want to play in a different way. Um, you know, if you guys still want that to happen, of course. But yeah, I, I, I've, I, when we were talking about Iron Man, um, especially how RuneScape did Iron Man, um, when they did the uh, hardcore Iron Man where you die, you lose everything, and you know that's it, end of the game. Um, I, I, want, I, I thought about doing that in old school, then I thought, no, because what you want to do is you want to see people who die who have really high levels and lots of stuff. So you want to not restrict people getting these high levels. So you, know, you, you don't want to do it as an Iron Man, you want to do it as a normal account, but when they die, that, right. that's when you want to see. You want to see somebody with you know, how many hundred of millions XP and, uh, and billions in their bank die and a big message go across the screen for everybody on the server saying, this person's just died, they've lost this amount of XP. Um, they've lost this amount, and uh, this person's just killed them. Who is now in this location? Go kill him. And uh, mayhem ensues. I'm happy to see that the chat responded really positively <laughs> to that idea, because it sounds great. Yeah. Yeah. 
Awesome. I'd love some eggs with that as well, to be honest. Yeah, it would be so tense, wouldn't it? Maybe you'll be able yeah. to. Yeah. You'd play it for a couple of hours and you'd, 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 you'd have to go and have a massage afterwards. To I would down. just be so scared all the time. <laughs> so you wait until I'd be like, log out, right? Not logging yeah. in until tomorrow. <laughs> the guy's going to be waiting for me. <laughs> I would genuinely love to make something like that. Yeah. I'd, I'd be like, it's I would sort of, play something like it's that. It's sort of yeah. weird mods that I really enjoy, enjoy messing around with. Like I said, I've got, got a version of Daisy in my test stream. Mm. Um, it's sort of weird things like that that you do in downtime that you often find are the best pieces of content you've ever made. Mm. Just instead of sticking to a design brief or a serious piece of content, in the 10 minutes where you've played around with something, you've made the best and most fun piece of content going. Yeah. Things like that would think would go very, down very well. I mean, it should be quite a quite a light piece dev-wise as well to make. I don't think it's going to be too difficult. It depends oh, on how um, intense you wanted the, the tracking to be. Hmm. And, well, by the way, it would vary depending on how, uh, how extreme we'd like it. But the most extreme, the better. Cool. But I've seen a lot of people saying straw poll, let's see what it'll get. I'm actually quite interested.